Hey, hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Nightingale. In the last episode we started our descent into this Fey Tower with our mostly loyal companion main, and we died once, but we have not given it up. I'm now... Oh, I now just noticed that the essences we had here have disappeared. And we still have that dude down there. That guy is a menace. He is regenerating. The small ones don't, but the big ones are... ...kind of menacing. I think I can... ...get rid of the small ones from here, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, in the last episode we had a bunch of essence and stuff, and they just despawn if you are way too long for gathering it. I don't really like that, but you know. Yeah. Don't come after me! Oh boy. I guess I need a healing. Hammer away, main. Eat the bastards. There's no two way around it. I don't think I'm hitting anything with this, or at least not as often as I would. Look at that, the big boy is no longer regenerating. Hit it, man. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I got one. Yes, was this the big one? Lacunus Ignot. Oh boy. Even though we are technically within the realm of where we need to be, I don't feel that we are too strong for this. What is this? Is this supposed to be light? Hmm, not breakable. This one? Oh wait, this, this is the thing that we need to activate, I think. Kind of. In the open beta it was different, there was a root way under this one too, this statue. And I'm not collecting per se, I'm just trying to make some visibility. Well I cannot activate it, but there's a button here. Activate mechanism. Oh boy, that's what I was afraid of. Hit it, main. A boss. A very aggressive boss. Let me run around and try to hit it. Oh, 
Alright, I think with a little bit of strafing I more or less can do some damage, but my main problem is I don't... Ah, boy! Oh no, what the heck? I don't feel like Main is doing any damage. I'm always stuck in this one. Come on, Main. Oh boy, one hit. Come on, mean if you are alive. Prioritize getting me up. Oh no, this is a dead end. Wait, did he stuck there? He stuck there and Main is hitting it. Oh no, boy, he was not stuck there at all. Ow, but Main did. Oh boy, in the open beta we got a sh shotgun to deal with this guy. I must say that was a bit more balanced. Even then I had to do some... Wait, oh. Yeah, my best bet is when he's not actually best finding to me. Because then Main can catch up and look at it when Main is hitting with that. Main is actually doing a pretty good job. I guess. But it's not like the guy is stuck. This is crazy. Main is burning. Oh no. He is actually focusing on Main. Or was. Get up, girl! Oh boy! This ain't good! Did you get up? Oh no! She did not. Alright, get up! Work for your salary! Oh no, main is down again. And the boss is coming for us. Get up, girl! Wait, did you? Hi! So much foliage. We are getting there. She is... Oh boy, this is not good at all. Ooh, we narrowly escaped that one. It's main down again. Of course she is. Come on, girl. Revive your butt up. Oh, she's almost down. One more hit. Oh, yeah, boy. We did it. Wait, he didn't drop anything. And you are tied again. Huh. I can't say I'm not disappointed. 
This gigantic ass boss did not drop any loot. And man is just cutting trees. Right onto her head. Alright, let's look around now that we are not. Uh, I was wondering if this wall is a false one, but I don't think it is. I also tried, you cannot open these. And you cannot collect the statue either. I don't know why this one is in light and the others are not. Or wait, do they, do they only activate when I'm nearby? Ah, interesting. Alright, let's pick this one up. Release Hope Echo. Oh, goat man. Welcome back. I guess. This isn't the cart that you told me that will be here. Oh, well done, Realm Walker. Well done. <coughs> Your deed befits the title. And the wider realms are within your reach. Well, all right. Ah, but you feel I've foxed you, betraying no foresight of the dangers held within these walls. Listen, for I come with broom before to sweep this dust behind the door. Though I did smirk, Watching from the shadows, I was heartened to a spy that my gifts are not wasted on thee. Hmm. Our partnership blooms with the seal of a most fruitful requital. Assurances in hand, press onward. Mark inky images upon paper, and so direct the flow of the interrealmic void. Might I suggest, for your first foray, a forest augmented by your new antiquarian knowledge. An antique forest. There are others like you, lost refugees, strangers to these fey wilds. So too are there more seasoned realm walkers who might point you toward Nightingale better than I. Go nice. then with newly fashioned cards. Awaken yonder portal. And tread on toward that which is boundless beyond the measurable. Well, perhaps not. I counted the early access has around 460 something combination of cards based on the trailer they put out. And assuming that they gave us all the card combinations in the trailer. But still, 400 and something something is quite noble. Well, I cannot pick these ones up. And this one is not false. Really, so hope back or what? Oh, I think this is new. In the cha in the center of the chamber loomed a great mechanism, fake construction. It resembled nothing I had known, even in fancy. I step forward and gaze upon. Our treasure, the first of many you will know in time. We each gathered we each gathered hesitantly around the machine's central pedestal. Beautiful and alien, its posing magic captivated my mind and bid me to flee. The noise heard within is all that separates the realms from those who would succumb to their dangers and all that shields these blessed realms from those impure intent. Place your hands upon the altar and see the realms embrace you. Take the very fiber of their make into your mind that you may use mere ink to pull yourself towards them. Accept this power and call yourself the Red Cross Knight. More certain than ever before, I reached forward. Huh. Alright. Wait. Where was it though? Because we activated it, but it's not here. So the prompt for it is was here somewhere. 
Hmm. Well, all right. Let's look around the edges. Maybe there's something more here. Hmm. Maybe not. In the open beta, I was going through the same structure, of course not on camera, but then it had additional uh, like two floors down and into the bedrock and this machine was in the bedrock. I kind of have to say that I liked it a bit more than this one. This feels a bit cheap that it's just at the bottom of the structure instead of like way more down. That was a significantly better idea to convey that it's an ancient structure. Kind of like even older than this one, that uh, the building that we are in right now. And it had much more hidden treasures and pathways. I guess they simplified this for some reason. I cannot tell why. Maybe some people found it. Too long to go through. But you know, that's why we are here, to explore. So, dumbing it down, I don't think it helped the game anything. Hey, main. Main the teleporter. Interesting, it almost looks like it's below the swamp. Or, wait, no. I see the tower outside. We should be close to the exit now. I hope. Let me run faster. Hello, main. Welcome back to the world of the living. This should be it, isn't it? Oh, there it is. I see the door. Oof. Well, that was an adventure on its own, and it's still night outside. I guess you can take a look at how the knights are looking in the swamp, because we haven't seen that one yet. That's my bungalow over there. Wow, interesting sky. Actually, there should be a structure here, somewhere on the island where I can modify the weather, I guess. Uh, at least there was one in the open beta, and it was interesting. I need to take a look at it, but I don't think the map is showing me anything. Right, so this one is showing the portal fairly close to our home. Occupation completed. Ramic transmuter. Oh, this is the one. Consume minor ram cast to trigger ram wide effects. This is the one I wanted to check. It's basically using one of my minor realm cards, which I guess should have been a bit better organized. It does say common for all of them, which is, I must say, a bit idiotic. When some places you say you are using minor cards and the cards are labeled as common. So uh, oh, are all of those minor cards or what? But anyway, we will check it. Hey Mina, I was in the building, you don't need to camp here anymore. Ah, you again. Always a pleasure. 
hoping to make a trade and are you just here to talk? I'm sure there's plenty in your past I would like to hear about. Oh, I'm sure you don't don't know what you are sticking your nose into, girl. Huh, there isn't any new conversation with Mina, so I think we will leave her be for the time being. And did I pick up any new essence? Because the big robot dude did not drop anything, so we have not gained anything. But the 68 should be enough to unlock one more. Spinning wheel or masonry bench. Hmm. Ruizuko's favorites have long relied on ingenuity to supply the clothes themselves, such as pragmatic spinning wheel who would be right at home along the invaluable handicrafts. Quaint but perfectly serviceable bench allows for the refinement of stones or gems. Hmm, I kind of want to get the masonry bench better. I mean, more. Let's see. Oh, wait, I. Hang on. Do I have 20 of this material? How much this material worth? Can I buy this one with the material that I have? No, not enough essence. Hmm. It would be nice to have a pop-up here to know which essence are these. Yeah, we got all the basics. Not all the light. Let me see if I can dissolve a few things to get 50 essence. Oh, I can get 31 from this one. So I only need to get 6. 4 from this. And I guess the rest can go with the spinach. Oh, 52 for the spinach. Nice. And let me unlock the last one, the spinning wheel too. That leaves us with only one of the light structures that we have not unlocked yet. And realm cards. Hmm. You know what, I have just 30. I probably can take Take a feast card, these blue flowers really something nice. We will try that out. But I guess I need to go home and do a, a long rest. And then we can try out the transmuters. Oh, wow, the gigantic robot. We need to go there as well because I've seen some scaffolding around it, so that means that. There can be something to be explored. Oh yeah, I need to be at the ladder here. Oof, home, semi sweet home. Right, morning has come, lovely. <coughs> Folks, give me a few seconds, I pause the video here and I will try to craft all the new craft benches that we unlock. And after that we can take a look at what we can make in each and every one of them. Hang on. Alright folks, here we are. And I might need to sleep one, because the night is long and full of terrors, as we all know. I crafted all the workbenches and I will show you around how it works. I, I even put down a, a chandelier, but unfortunately, as you can tell, it's like three blocks high. And the light is not coming down of it. <laughs> Which is a bit bad, but that's alright. Let me sleep through the night quickly and we can go into 
looking into the crafting stations. I'm an idiot, I could have used a torch as well. Uh, that's okay. All of them are very small form factors, so you can put them nearly anywhere. But when I was trying to put them down, I actually noticed that they get benefit from being sheltered, well lit and warm. So I, I need to put them kind of near this. Or as a better floor planning, I should have put the campfire in the middle of the room, so everything benefits from its warmth. So this one is the spinning wheel, and it can create wick, twine, and refined fiber. And the thing that I have not actually checked, what the heck is this charm twine? Twisted fibers form rough twine, the potential for danger being elevated in the realms. One may seek an enhancement to marksmanship, ensuring swift takedown of a foe. I have no idea what it is, but I do need a glass for it. Let's craft one and we will see. I do have ranged thingy. Charm. Twine eye. Twine crude. How does this work? Well, I can extract it, but I cannot really... Does it mean like I can... When I craft a bow... Hang on, let me check that one. Or, what the heck, not the bow, the other one, the sling bow. I can't, no, this takes straps and wood. So, I guess I have no idea how to use this charmed vine. I can only drop it and extract it, so I'm not really sure where it goes. But I know that the twine is used for, I mean the wick is used for candles. And I know that something that I wanted to build needs. You idiot, you walked through the fire, haven't you? Um, something needs it. This one is a mortar station that I have not yet checked. I can create refined flour. We don't have that. Millet grain. I have no idea what that is. Alchemical ink, which I I can create because I actually tried these out and I have refined zinc pigment and glass of quartz. I'm not yet sure what that will do, and I can also create this seed. Tiny spark of like waiting patiently to be planted, plucked from a fruit or flower. Single seed can multiply tenfold in a well-tended garden. Well, we don't even have a badly tended garden, but eventually. But I crafted one and it says seed crude. Um, I kind of eat it as it is, and it gives me some hunger mitigation. Oh, wait a second. Does it mean my hunger will be going down slower? Probably. That would be fancy. This one, simple masonry workbench. I can create craft stone. I, I actually crafted one of these. Refining stone is a labor of love and genius. Few appreciate the added magical benefits imbued, but the improvements are worth the undertaking regardless of faction. I created one, but... <coughs> Or at least I thought I did. Hang on. Even if I did... Oh, cart stone, sandstone. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is a bit dry. So, carved stone. It's... Um, well, nothing. I can really do anything with at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that we can later unlock more building pieces and that will be useful. And uh, weak dark seal, yeah. I have no idea what this bounty core is, but this 
stone block plus bones, which I should have, will create a human seal that I wanted to check out. Out of your craft. And this carving away. Even though I have no idea what that will look like. This one here is the smelter where you can, it's actually a two part crafting station. So there you put the fuel and here you can craft the items. This is how I got my glass. And I don't think it has fuel at the moment, but I can put this wood here. Wood bundle, yes. And then it will create me some gems. Or glass, more like it. Ingot, this is coming from ores, if we have. Which I only had a very little about. Reclaimed ingot. This one is... Uh, I'm not particularly sure. An ingot made from refined metal. Uh, but this is already an ingot. What kind of metal it will create? Shaft. Shaft will need an ingot. And the wire that also needs ingot. And this is the saw table where you can create lumber, paper, pool and reclaimed lumber. And this one is the magic I guess. From two wood you can create a bunch of paper. I already created one batch and one kilo of paper is refining 200 dust and I don't actually need paper so I can extract that and look at that I have 400 essence. Now I can rip and, and making paper is super easy. Let me show you. I get a bit more wood. I have 82 kilos of wood and I can barely move my botox next to it. But I can create 27. Let me create like 10. Now we have 0 0.4. I extract it so it will not be any conflict and we can see how many 10 we are refined to. It takes a wee minute so let me come back here in the meantime. I can collect this weak human seal sandstone. Mox hells. Swimming against the tides, our ancestors manifested the art of seals carved in stone. Forging minor seals has become a founding pillar of the magic we know and praise today. And I can only extract it and drop it, and I have no idea how to use this seal. If you do, leave a comment down below, because, you know, I like to learn. And here is our 10 paper. And the 10 paper refined to exactly, well, 1 kilo. 1, and, one kilo and, and a bit more, 0 0.2. But yeah, this is 1 kilo of paper from 10 wood. And it refines to 200 essence. Bam, look at that, I'm rich, I have 760 essence. I don't know how much other things will cost, but this seems to be the best method I found to quickly um, get essence. Mainly because this dingus here is constantly cutting wood, so I have more than plenty. Let me move these yet, and the ink, and I guess the zinc ore, and everything we don't immediately know what to do with. Stone powder, yeah, I created this one too. Most any stones can be ground into useful powder, as the druids well know, as integral as it is. Abundant, it allows them to roam building homes throughout the realms without worry. Uh, no idea how to use it or what is it for. Essence. I 
uh, I think I just put it in the last one because this one had more space. Rough bobble. I also crafted this one. Unpolished and roughly hewn, such a tin cat is easily overlooked. A perceived lack of value should not dis dissuade a deft adventure for its potential benefits, which we know nothing about. Let me move some of these. This was the alchemical stuff, but I just threw everything in here that we don't need because you go adventuring. I only have very few bullets left, but that should not persuade us from not going anywhere. Give me one quick look into my crafting menu. I wanted to check. Oh yeah, now I can create crude hipped roof. roof. I wanted to check. I have not done that one yet. Anyway, we need to remodel the top floor to something like a good living quarters. So this will be useful when we get there. Repair, yes, these are the crafting stations and we built all of them. Except, no, tunning station, sewing bench, enchanter's focus. This is the one we have not created yet, but it needs ingot and I don't yet have that one. And the simple workbench, campfire, masonry bench. Mortar, so table, smelter, yeah, so we created all of those. From the light thing is, we bought all the light thing like hide lamp and such. I might create a few of these table lamps around. Let me check how big it is. Well, not too big. But if I can tell right, this will actually create a live, well lit effect around all of our stations. I put one down here too, because these parts are supremely dark during the night. We just need to put the right ingredients there, hide animal fiber and sticks and what was that twine. Oof, this will take a while to craft up, which I will probably not do. Let me take another look at the crafting menu. And uh, there's nothing else here. The next thing that we will end up will probably be in another realm. But before we do that, I wanted to get to that station where we can activate minor realm cards. Not the portal, but this one, the realmic transmuter. So that's roughly in that direction. Let me pause the recording and I will come back to you when I'm there. Just one moment. We are getting really close, folks. I discovered this tower which had a, a telescope on top. Unfortunately, we cannot use it and it would be like such a low hanging fruit for the developers to increase a button. I mean, to, to add the button there to just view a random realm. It would be interesting. And I also found this chest here with Veiled Potion and the card of Feast, yeah! And this one is Lustrate Infusion. I had no idea how to do this, so I might need to craft that last uh, station that I discovered. Because that seems to be the magic station that I'm lacking. I might grind it out by the next video, just to check. And I switched the recording back on because the place we are going is that thingy over there. Just let me get the fine wood from this chest. Also, in case you were wondering, this is not respawning the loot. At least I don't think so. I had one that I looted yesterday. And today when I get there, it was still empty. So it's definitely either more than one day to respawn loot or uh, hang on we kind of need to go run at it oh yeah we can jump on this 
and then just rush through. The water buffaloes will not hurt us. And this is the realm transmuter. Plant minor realm cards. Now we have a sunny swampy day. Let me put in something. Oh yeah, the red one looks very good. What does this one do? Amphibious card. It would be nice to have some sort of uh, description. Because I don't actually recall what the heck each of these things do. Blood Moon card. I know that is like super hard. Play this card to increase the chance that enemies will drop rare items. But decrease your maximum health and regeneration rate. For those taking this card, Whisper's Great Temptation offers up one's own vitality for the chance to acquire rarities beyond compare. That sounds like something I wanna do. Combatants Workshop card. Play this card to craft tools that deal greater damage but offer reduced yield. First played by. So this is basically cards that are affecting the items I craft in this realm. To be perfectly honest, if I'm now that I'm taking this over, it would have been a better place to start uh, an estate somewhere here. Too bad that the statue is showing its back to us, and this is not as cinematic as my current location. Because building next to this would, would actually be beneficial. All right, what else we have here? Maleficate card book. This is not how I actually know. Hang on. Play this card to plunge realm into eternal night and increase the yield of bound resources. Oh no, those are the quick dudes who attacked us in the tower. Play this card to bring perpetual rains and increase the potency of your magic. Um. Hmm. Play this card to increase the damage you deal and the efficiency of your harvesting by weighing down your body and limiting the efficiency of your stamina. Is it like when you go around and collect stuff? Huh. I was often over encumbered when I was trying to gather materials. I wonder how this one would do with it. It says it's increased damage I deal and the efficiency of my harvesting. So it means I can harvest faster, but I, I will still be, you know, over capacity, right? By weighing down your body. Oh yeah, so it only, I can only harvest more if I am overburdened. That's not something I wanna do. Teen Veil card. Plan this card to move more quickly, leap safely to great heights and use stamina more efficiently. Oh yeah, this would be actually good if you would like to jump up in buildings. Veiled Eminent. Play this card to increase the damage you deal, efficiency of your harvesting by being yeah, that's what we saw. But it had a different picture. This one Weighted card and weighted eminent card. Both of them are common, and both of them kind of give the same results. No? Efficiency of your stamina. It kind of does the same. We yeah, the same mistake and something. Play this card to prolong the effects of a meal, grow hungry more slowly, and heal more quickly. Huh. This is like an adventuring card, I guess. Play this card to increase the yield of crafted ammunition and ingots as well as crafting time for refinement. Oh yeah, so if I um, gather a bunch of ore and play this card, I will yield more uh, ingots from it when I craft it. But yeah, these are like very, very common use items. What I want to say is that, that they are actually very useful to be close to your 
building. Amphibious card. We saw a treasury card. Play this card to increase the chance of finding essence. Well, we find that all the time, so I don't really see using this that much. Duelist. Increase the damage you deal as well as damage you receive. Alright. Let's try this Blood Moon card. I'm actually quite curious how that will work. Blood Moon. Oh wait, I need to apply to Blood Moon. Wow. Holy shit, look at that. Oh, what? They immediately attacked us. Oh, but they yielded something already. Oh, that's just brown bristle, advanced fiber. Advanced bound fiber. Oh wow, but look at that! Wow, that sky is amazing! I love it, let me go home. I actually wanna keep this, I wonder how long this will take. I mean, how long this will remain. Oh, hell, it looks like the sky is falling apart. I keep this a little bit. I wonder if it will stay there as long as I am here, or it will eventually reset. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me go around a little bit, I'm kind of curious if we find more enemies. Or this was kind of like a waste, because uh, these are not that, uh, how to say it, so the enemies on this area are not too hard to beat. And it only spawned a few enemies there. And I don't see any more to be spawned. Hmm. You know what, let's go that way a little bit, because I I think I saw that building over there and I'm just a little bit curious if we can see some enemies in that direction. For example... Oh, I hear some gurgling. Is that? Oh yeah, these are more of the bound. Come on me, there's action. To that, come help me with this one. Nice. Oh, am I too tired? Oh no, this is broken. Oh boy. But it gives us a big essence and some weak. And there's supposed to be something else here, because we killed like two other dudes. Or did that just respawn? Bound bristle. I don't see anything shimmering, and I'm pretty sure we killed one more guy here. The 
Oh, this is just the wood. Yeah, so this lady is our infinite wood finder. Let me see, I should be able to fix my X. That's good. And let's go this direction a little bit. What I wanted to check out is somewhere in this way there was this one here, this occupation completed. But now that we summoned the Blood Moon, it's... Stay down, dude. Oh, this one dropped the Lacunus Ingot. Bound, Rissel. Don't see anything else dropped. So we got this thread, Advanced Bound Fiber, Bound Bristle. Huh? And we found this one, Ignot Lacunus. Well, alright. It's something. Was it this way? I wanted to check if that Occupy thingy is... Uh, ...permanently solved after I deoccupied it, or it will respawn with the Realm card. And it should be on the other side of this field. And there it is. Oh, I do see something summoning, so we are good. Oh, wait, since I'm here, I can kind of eat a little bit. Although I do have some... You've come to the wrong neighborhood, boy -o. Well, this is not extraordinary big loot, but... Yeah, this sequel is actually pretty good. The full ores are definitely looking like something that worse our time. Because they are hard to make. I'm not even sure I can make them, even with the smelter. Alright, let me take a look. That wall is breakable for sure. But what do you get if you break it? Let me get... So now we have our stuff. I'm supposed to be able to climb up there. Is this like a hidden room? Where they forgot to put treasure. Dang it, I felt so clever figuring this out. <laughs> and it turns out it's actually nothing. Well, all right. I take my big nothing. There was something here, the puzzle box, that I already solved with, and I saw absolutely no benefit of it. I think that was just like for the enemies. But yeah, and also there was a chest up here that is not responding, so. I guess this will be the end of this episode with the gigantic blood moon. <laughs> if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and see you in the next one. I'm not exactly sure what 
probably will do. But I guess we'll get to the portal and try our luck with the first other realm. Just to see what that will bring. I'm quite curious. I also wonder if we need to put down a sleeping bag to spawn in that other realm or what happens if I die there. But I guess we will figure that out in the next video. Until then, have a fantastic day folks. And see you in the next adventure. Bye bye.